Hardwiring your bay. The very first thing you do is connect all the grounds on all of the patch bay points. So now when you look at the bay that's passed around and you look down there, you're going to see five little things sticking up that you could solder something to. And this is the side view of that patch point. So you can look at the side and say which is which. You can see that there is a ground point, then a negative and then a, uh, a negative normaling leaf, and a positive normaling leaf, and then a positive point. That's five soldering points. The very first thing you do is you take all of your grounds and you connect all of the grounds together and you solder the wire on the first ground, go to the second ground, solder that wire, solder it, solder that wire, to all the grounds and then go down along the bottom row and solder all those grounds together with the same wire so all the grounds are tied together because you want everybody going to the same ground. Everybody in your studio goes to one ground, the same ground. So now you've got all the grounds all connected. And remember I told you, I said, I was having a, a problem getting snaps when I transferred a digital thing straight digitally into my computer. The signal would go along, you know, just like this, talking, and all of a sudden, snap, snap, just weird. And it was a, a, a digital problem. I could hear that. So I called my engineering friend. He said, did you get the ground strap I told you to connect everything in the studio yet, Mike? I said, no, I didn't get it. He says, call me back when you get it. <laughs> I said, okay. So then I bought ground braiding, which is a flat wire. It was a dollar a foot. I bought a hundred foot of ground braiding and attached it to every piece of equipment, to the chassis, because that chassis, you plug it in the wall, it's got the three pins. Well, that chassis is connected to the ground pin. So you can connect something to that chassis and it'll then be ground. Okay, well, I've also been told I've, that, of course, I should connect everything in the studio with that ground loop, which I did. And he said, and the second thing you want to do is take and put a ground lift on every piece of equipment in your studio except for the mixer. They're only under a dollar these things. Now take a look at it. You see it's got three going here, two come out there. You see that? So what it does is it lifts this ground. The issue is this, that because you've put a patch bay in, and now you've got all of your audio outputs that are in your devices going through your patch bay, and because you've got your console and all of the inputs and outputs in the console going into your patch bay, now suddenly, all of the devices in your studio are connected, where now if you have this device over here that's plugged into that wall with the three pin, and it's got a different ground source than this device over here that's plugged into that wall with the three pin, now you're going to get a hum. Because the grounds are now connected all together in the patch bay, but your AC power is grounded in two different sources. Ground wants to seek the best possible ground, which means the deepest, best ground. Sometimes you put a stake in the ground, or you can go to the cold water pipe, because the cold water pipe goes through the whole city. But what you want is you want all of your devices in the studio to have the same ground. When they have a choice, it's, I'm trying to find the right ground. And that's what the buzz is searching for a better ground. So he said, Mike, what you do is you put a ground lift on all of the devices except for your console. So now when you've got your mixing console that's plugging into the wall with the three pins and everybody else plugging in, in the wall with the two pins, then everybody else is not getting that ground. They're seeking ground through the patch bay to the console to that ground. So now they're all the same ground. This is one of the ways to eliminate one of the problems of one of the kind of hums. <laughs> I'm not saying that as soon as you hear a hum, this is it. You, you're, I don't know. But this is one of them. Be sure this is done. And then if you still have the hum, it could be any number of things. Believe me, it's pretty tricky.